We begin with a prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who roam through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today's Mass is offered for the intentions requested by our par parishioners, the intentions posted on this live stream, and on the celebration of the Feast of Our Mother of Perpetual Help, we ask the Blessed Mother to help us find moments in our day to bring blessings of kindness and healing to others. Good morning. We welcome you as we celebrate the Eucharist today, feast day of our Mother of Perpetual Health. Our presider is Father Robert Panansala, OFM. Please rise and join in singing our entrance hymn. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries on this feast day of our Mother of Perpetual Health, let us recognize that we are all sinners, but God always meets us with the tenderness of His mercy and compassion. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, words in, in what, what I have done, done in what, what I have failed to do, do through my fault, through my fault, through my fault through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, Mary ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on, and on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. Of goodwill. We, we praise you, we, we bless you, we adore, you. We, adore you. you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, the heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the, in the glory, glory of God, God the, the Father. Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. 
Grant us, O merciful God, protection in our weakness, that we who keep the memorial of our mother of perpetual help may with the help of her intercession rise up from our iniquities through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Jesus had been taken up to heaven, the apostles returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey away. When they entered the city, they went to the upper room where they were staying. Peter and John and James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas, son of James. All these devoted themselves with one accord to prayer, together with some women, and Mary, the mother of Jesus and his brothers. The Word of the Lord. Let our response be, Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Praise your servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord, above the heavens in his glory. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Who is like the Lord our God? And look upon the heavens and the earth below. He raises up the lowly from the dust. From the downhill, he lifts up the poor. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. To honor the gospel, please rise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, Lord. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother, and his mother's sister married the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from the tower the disciple took her into his home. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, the image of our Mother of Perpetual Help, also known as our Lady of Perpetual Succor, is an icon that originated around the 13th century. It depicts the Blessed Mother under the title of Mother of God, holding the child Jesus, who in turn is contemplating the vision of his future passion. The child Jesus grasps the hand of and seeks comfort from his blessed mother. The position of Mary's hands, both holding the child Jesus and presenting him to us, conveys the reality of our Lord's incarnation. Mary here in this image is represented as the one who guides us to and intercedes for us with the Redeemer. 
According to tradition, a merchant acquired the icon of our mother of perpetual help from the Greek island of Crete and had it shipped to Rome towards the end of the 15th century. During the voyage, a life-threatening storm arose. The passengers and crew prayed to our Blessed Mother, and they were saved. Once in Rome, the merchant, dying, ordered that the image should be displayed for public veneration. His friend who kept the image received further instructions. In a dream to his little daughter, the Blessed Mother expressed the desire for the image to be venerated in a church between the Basilicas of St. Mary Major and St. John Lateran in Rome. The image consequently was housed at the, at the Church of St. Matthew and became known as the Matona of St. Matthew. Pilgrims flocked to the church for the next 300 years, and great blessings were bestowed upon the faithful. After Napoleon's troops destroyed the church of St. Matthew in 1812, the image was transferred to the church of St. Mary in Posterula and remained there for nearly 40 years. There the image was neglected and forgotten. By divine providence, the forgotten image was rediscovered. In 1866, Blessed Pope Pius IX entrusted the image of our Mother of Perpetual Help to the Redemptorists, who had requested for it and who had just built the Church of St. Alphonsus. The Holy Father instructed the Redemptorists to make the image of the Blessed Mother known. As a boy, he had prayed before the image in the Church of St. Matthew in 1867, when the image was being carried in a solemn procession through the streets, a young child was cured, the first of the many recorded miracles attributed to our Blessed Mother. My brothers and sisters, to this day, the Church of St. Alphonsus in Rome, under the care of the Redemptorist, displays the original icon of our Mother of Perpetual Help for Veneration. In the Philippines, the Redemptorist of the National Shrine of our Mother of Perpetual Help in Baclaran are the caretakers of a German copy of the icon of our Mother of Perpetual Help, which arrived in the country in 1906. It is estimated that 120,000 devotees go to Baclaran Church to pray before the image of our Mother of Perpetual Help every Wednesday, at least we can say before the pandemic. In today's Gospel passage from the Gospel of John, Jesus gave his mother to us, as represented by John to be our very own mother, in the midst of sufferings shortly before he died. We can imagine the love that he had for us by giving to us his own mother as our mother, while suffering on the cross for the love of us, and for our salvation, he was entrusting us to his beloved mother and his mother to us. The image of our mother of perpetual help reminds us that Mary, as our mother, is especially close to us in the midst of sufferings and in situations of greatest need for help. These situations of great need for help include the current pandemic crisis that we have been facing. Just as the Blessed Mother was closest to Jesus in the midst of his passion and at the hour of his death, we can be sure that the Blessed Mother is also closest to us in our moments of great suffering, of great need, and at the hour of our own deaths. Our Blessed Mother is our perpetual help. 
She is always there for us, especially in times of greatest need. We pray in this Mass that our Mother of Perpetual Help intercede for us with her Son, Jesus, for whatever needs we may have at the moment, especially in this time of pandemic, and for our greatest need to be led closer to her Son, Jesus, and the salvation He has won for us on the cross, now and for all eternity. Please stand. Let us pray to God, our loving Father, that following the example of Mary, we may always seek and do His will. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may practice the humility of Mary in willingness to serve God and men. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ may find a welcome abode in the hearts of people as he found a well-prepared dwelling place in Mary. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The true spirit of prayer may deeply penetrate the hearts of people that they may hear the cry of the poor as it permeated the whole being of Mother of Perpetual Help. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are sick in mind and body may find healing and consolation through the powerful intercession of Mary. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dying may look up to Mary as their source of strength and comfort as she stood by the cross of her son. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the COVID-19 epidemic, pandemic, come to a swift resolution with the recovery of the sick, the protection of those who have been exposed, for experts to find a cure, for government and health authorities to take the appropriate steps to halt its spread, and that we, the faithful, act responsibly for the good of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us pray for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Lord and Master, cleanse our hearts that we may receive Christ, your only Son, in the spirit of Mary's faith and obedience. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. <laughs> Oh, 
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we honor the memory of our Mother of Perpetual Help, we pray, O Lord, that the oblation of this sacrifice may by your grace make of us an eternal offering to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on this feast day of our Mother of Perpetual Help. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of, his, of her virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was sanded, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our Apostolic Administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters 
who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, especially St. Francis and St. Claire of Assisi, and St. Anthony of Padua, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the feet of your church, and graciously grant their peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take, you take away the sins of the world. Have, Have mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant, Grant us, us peace. peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the suffer of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. We call on Saturdays, we ask you. 
Let us pray. Having been made partakers of eternal redemption, we pray, O Lord, that we who commemorate our Mother of Perpetual Help may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase for our salvation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Let us go in the peace of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. We pray our Fatima prayer of adoration and reparation. We pray for the increase of faith, hope, and charity, the intentions of the Holy Father of and of our community. Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I adore you profoundly, and I offer you the most precious body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ present in all the tabernacles of the world. In reparation for the outrages, sacrileges, and indifference by which he is offended, and by the infinite merits of his most sacred heart, and through the immaculate heart of Mary, I beg the conversion of poor sinners. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love you. I ask pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. 
as it was in the beginning, is now and ever, shall be world without end. Amen. O most holy Trinity, I adore you. My God, my God, I love you in the most blessed sacrament. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you very much. Yeah. 